After finding out that he is dying from tuberculosis, Arthur Morgan, the game's protagonist, quite literally ascends to the sky, to heaven, and even there he finds nothing but trouble, more destruction and mayhem. He got TB by beating a man to death over a fistful of dollars. Arthur Morgan was a bad man. Actually, he's not a man at all, he's just a 3D model made of polygons and textures. He's not real. And yet I cry every time his earthly story comes to an end. He's not just a 3D object and simple geometry, there's more to him. Red Dead Redemption 2 is not just a game, it's more than that. So, so much more. This world has its consolations. <laughs> Arthur is a member of the Vanderlyn Gang, a band of outlaws made weak by time and progress, but strong in faith. Some are bad, some good, some despicably ugly, but all of them, well most of them, faithful to the leader, Dutch Vanderlyn. Pursued by the law, the gang moves from one campsite to another. Upon reaching Horseshoe Overlook, one of the earlier camps, Arthur discovers an old town nearby, burned to the ground. This little town, consisting of a saloon, jail and a general store, is an archetypal representation of the Wild West. Once loud and blooming with life, now just a shameful afterimage. And the symbolism is clear. This is not the past, this is the future. Their future. Dutch Vanderlyn talks about fleeing to an exotic location, promising a peaceful and serene lifestyle that comes with mango farming. Oh, if we just had enough money, we could settle down in an exotic paradise, far, far away from civilization. And then they shipwreck into a tropical paradise of sorts, only to find more chaos, death and destruction. Wherever they go, whatever they do, the past will follow, their wrongdoings stickier than shadows. While trying to locate certain Mr. Arthur Londonderry, a miner who once borrowed money from the gang, Arthur Morgan descends into a twisted mining labyrinth. Inside the mine, a coal-coated face yells at him. Arthur is dead, the face laughs maniacally. Dead. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek. But I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Once again, no matter where Arthur goes, heaven or hell, his past will follow and eventually catch up to him. Grief and sorrow materialized, pressing hard against his chest, and every breath hurts now. Arthur was a bad man and had lived a pointless life. So what now? What do you do now? Well, now is the time for a reckoning, accept the waking world for what it is, a civilization roleplay and forget about it. Make your life matter, help someone. There's this guy called Saint Augustine who once said that human life is nothing more than a flash of light between two dark eternities. Yeah, maybe it is a flash, but make it count. Give context, value and purpose to every second of your life. Stop lingering and make a decision. And Arthur decides. Yeah, he decides to save a life, to give his life for someone else. The last chapter of Red Dead Redemption 2, in which you play as Arthur Morgan, is simply called Red Dead Redemption, and it's like a fever dream that goes on and on. Arthur is sick, probably burning up, catching his breath between every gunshot, his face pale as death, but his mind set on one objective, help the Marston family reach safety. 
chased by the Pinkertons, Arthur and John Marston descend into this maze-like cave formation. It's dark, it is hellish. Upon reaching the surface, they are greeted with more gunshots and battle cries. Somehow, it's even darker now. The terrain, once familiar, now is strange and threatening, splintered trees and foggy clouds obscuring the vision. There are no light sources, nothing but faint muzzle flashes and pale moonlight reflected in the water. Arthur says goodbye to his friend and then says goodbye to John. This nightmarish vista, barren of light and hope, will be Arthur's last stand. Everything has led to this point, to this moment of clarity and introspection. A dream deferred now turned into a nightmare. Arthur dies facing the sunrise, and the nightmare dies with him. As the first dawning light grazes the surface of this savage and blood-soaked land, one question emerges. What was the point of it all? What was Red Dead Redemption 2 really about? Well, we could say that it was about lingering in the past, about not being able to move on. Fighting progress. Fighting gravity. Some years after Arthur's passing, the Marston family returns to West Elizabeth. It's a bright and colorful day, blooming flowers and cloudless skies above them. A family argument is playing over this pastoral scene. Abigail and John are whining about something, and then Jack mentions the name Arthur. Fragmented echoes of the once glorious Vandaling gang are now everywhere. There's no one there, and yet here they are, distant voices, dust and echoes. You can visit every campsite and marvel at the emptiness. You can linger, remember the good days, and even crack open a cold one for Arthur. But sooner or later you'll have to move on. It's the only reasonable thing to do. This might be an interesting take, but Arthur Morgan was really the luckiest of them all. He was intelligent, strong, rough at times, but also sensitive and introspective. He was able not just to carry his burden, but to understand it and transform it into something glorious and magnificent. All the pieces of goodness and mercy were already there, the sickness just nudged things a little into a certain direction and gave momentum to Arthur's redemption arc. And that redemption arc concludes at the top of the mountain. Arthur dies protecting his friend, the ultimate sacrifice, shining a light into darkness. Arthur dies as a winner. No more lingering, no more hiding, no Tahiti's, heaven or hell. Just a brief moment of introspection and one last sigh before the first morning light. Arthur gave all he had, and he gave his best. The old world is dying and the Wild West is being tamed. So what? Who cares? Let it all fade into nothing. Red Dead Redemption was always about facing your wrongdoings and making amends. And that's it. I... I guess we're just about done, my friend. Thanks for watching.